I would humbly request him to consider uh, the hustlers like me na najua pia kuna watu wengi sana wanaumia wenye wako down kama kuna venye anaweza reduce hiyo price kiasi tunaweza furahia sana hata mafuta hata imeenda juu imagine as a cs to understand sisi kama mwananchi atuelewi kwa nini tuambie roiro mafuta inatoka bei rahisi utaambia nini prezo kinaturamba <laughs> Welcome to Haman Manyora YouTube channel. This is Opinion Scope, and my name is Mundia Gitao. And today, I'm in the streets to know how are you coping up with the new increase in fuel prices in this country. What do you have to say? And these are the opinions people had to give. In an effect, kwa dia moja ama ida ingine, kwa sababu wale wataja vile walikuwa na kujia kutoka nyumbani makuo sa zingine na bidi kama wale walikuwa na safari kwa distant na bidi ya ntengenezo kwa hile kinyozi kwa karibu sasa huyo tunapoteanwa hivyo juu garama ya labda boda boda ndia nasafiria inampadisia bei kuningana na vile mina mchaji haya kama ni mwenye natumia gari labda anaona saa zingine kutumia gari kuja kwa kinyozi hiyo na ni maari ya ta walk for a distance ama ta travel for a distance ina bidi haingia hile kinyozi kwa karibu so ina kuwa mii mwenyewe na kuwa affected juu customer ndio wateja hundi wanapungua ya so alia before mafuto ipande uliko unapata customer kama wangapi hivyo Uh, tuseme kabila mafuta ipande uh, customers walikuwa wengi juu kama pade unatengeneza watu almost 20 na watu 20 unaona hapo kama unatengeneza na labda na 150 ama so unaona hapo unatengeneza pesa lakini kwa sasa wamepungua hadi 10 hadi 10 na 10 10 wana 5 hadi 10 sasa unaona hapo wateja wamepungua kwa kiwango kikubwa pia ina hiyo inatugaramia sana haya nayo bei ya sima ndio hiyo kwa sababu pia wa, wakati kuna sometimes lazima utumie the more kuna wateja wachache the more nao sema unatumia pia ni gharama kwako yeah. na unaweza taka his excellency president william ruto arudishe subsidy venye ilikuwa na kitambo on on mafuta uh, uh, kulingana na vile economy imetupeleka kutoka pale awali na wakati huu tuko sasa sasa tungebidi hata si tu support subsidy iweko kwa mafuta juu pia labda kama mahali mimi mwenyewe kusafiri kuja kazini mali natumia boda boda ili kuenda charge 50 ikapanda hadi sabini kutoka sabini hadi mia na ni mahali una walk dakika ki kwa walk ni dakika kidogo but sometimes inabidi utumie boda boda sasa nayo imekupadisia gani nimekupadisia bei so inabidi hata unaona kama subsidy itafanya gharama ya maisha irudi ama mafuta irudi chini inafai ifanywe subsidy of which si tunaona kwa kitu tunaita subsidy ni more important kwa sababu kwa mafuta peke yake juu subsidy nayo ndio inabeba kwa mafuta mafuta ndio inabeba zile bidhaa zote ambazo zinatumika na roko kwa kwenye commodities uh, ne, moja ama hii nyingine tunaangalia kwa subsidy last time tulikuwa na subsidy nayo ilikuwa ina subsidy kwa kila kitu na ni if common product ni mafuta yenye tunafai subsidy ndio hizi zingine products zikuja chini so subsidy kwa mafuta inafaa mafuta kupanda imetumiza kama wa Kenya Eh, juu kila kitu imepanda maisha imekuwa ngumu kila kitu imepanda tu na unaona in the next few months ama maybe by next year kama mafuta itapanda tena ama itashuka eh sahi kujuka ni ngumu eh kama itaendelea kupanda tu eh eh sahi kiene kama itaendelea kupanda tu eh haijai juka eh no nezambia nini serikali wajaribu wapunguze kidogo maisha ikae isikae ngumu sana washukisha hadi aone za taka washukisha hadi hadi price na tashana aje kama ni mzuri eh hiyo diesel wakati nusu hadi kae 100 petrol wakati nusu nusu tu na petrol nusu eh zisai ni petrol ni kama to to 11 Ah diesel ni tu 200. Eh saa petrol yende 111 diesel 100. Hapo itakuwa sawa. Kaa kitambo tu. Kawa president afanye venye alitoaidi. Eh juu wakati alikuwa anaingia alikuwa na campaign. Alisema atafanya vitu poa poa kushinda uhuru. Sasa tunaona ameharibu zaidi. Eh Sasa president hebu jaribu 
uweke maisha ikuwe raisi. Eh. Unapata nadai kutoka wera, nimezo ya pale hivyo tao ni kituka 120, na ingia garika detox hivi na sikia ni 120. So, kuna vile bado umse atarajio fia vile itakuwa, juu bado kimfuko bado uko poa. Eh. Hivyo tu, juu seme bado bado biz bado job ataka ataka salary na kwa increased bado mnafinyu huko side ingine juu bado hiyo salary bado ndo unapeleka kwa hiyo kulipa hiyo fare hiyo ndo yenye muongezo wa mafuta eh hivyo tu na wewe kama youth uta utaambia nini serikali sai ah mimi serikali najua kuna kitu wanaweza fanya obviously but what try to at least was was finya was sana iko tu kitu favorable bari yako mam poa sana unaitwa nani Naitua Bianca Njeri. Bianca. Bianca Njeri. Okay. Na unafanya kazi gani Nairobi? Nafanya biashara. Right. So tumewana mafuta imeza kupanda. E, personally kama kerosene, tumewana ime, ime shoot. E, tumewana pia petrol na diesel zote zimepanda. We basically ina, ime kuafekta aje kama mwana biashara. We sahi maisha ime kuatafash. Like bus fare imepanda. Ata hakuna kubagin, conductor na kuitisha, dere na taka haki yake. So, unapata, at the end of the day, ile budget uliko nafanya end month, chakula imeenda juu. Azi, nimetu affect sana sana as a youth, cause, siju, I don't know what the future holds for us, by the way. Na, budget. Budget. Yeah, chakula imekuwa very expensive. So, tuna survive. Na uneza ambia nini president, kwa sababu ni yali tuwa subsidy, na tunawana mafuta badu inaendelea kupanda, Uta, utamambia nini sayi? Well, if I have an opportunity to talk to President Ruto, I would humbly request him to consider uh, the hustlers like me. Na najua pia kuna watu wengi sana wanaumia wenye wako down. Kama kuna venya neza reduce iyo price kiasi, tuneza fraya sana. Ata mafta ata imeenda juu imagine. So watu wenye wanapika na stove, wanalalamika. Unapata saa hii manze ukikula breakfast, Kuna wasi wengine hata yo lunch they can't afford. Wanangoja hadi sapa. So ukiwa na watoto, wanakula tu kidogo ili ya kushikilia tumbo wa shibi. Na, na tuse, say, say tunona, tunona presia meko na, na gas imeshuka, sindio? Yeah. So na tunona mafute imepanda. Kwa hivyo, in the future tuna expect pia gas itapanda, sindio? Yeah. So o, o, no, kama kwenye gas sayo unawuzi wana pisa ngapi? Ako kadogo, yeah. progress. Yeah. Saika mefikisha, the last time nili buy 1500, kujaza. 1500. Na kitambo ilikuanga 1200 hapo. So ya, yeah, imepanda. Imepanda, sindo? Na uneza ambia nini, sai, moseskuri ya kusababu na ya likuwa mesema alia, ati every month mafute itako inapanda, inapanda. Uneza mambia nini, sai, kama mwana, mwana nchi? Anafaa kutupea hopes, ama anafaa kuendelea kudimin hopes zetu, ama anafaa kufanya nini? Moses Kuria, tafadhali, serikali, serikali saidia, tunalia. Moses Kuria, well, neza taka pia yeye, uh, kama neza pata chance ya kuongea na President Ruto, it, uh, neza tutetea, sisi watu wenye tuna hustle, tuko down, tuna, tunaumia sana. Unajua at least mse mwenye meandi kwa kazi, like daktari, anapata mshara, mwisho wa mwezi. Mwalimu, analipo end month. Lakini sisi watu wakubahatisha, sometimes kuna kauka, sometimes unapata hasara, sometimes faida. So, yeah, maisha imekuwa ngumu sana. Hey, unaitua nani? Unaitua Onjalo ama Ekas Music. Ati, ipo siku hingu haitutavuta sisi wote na maapolisi. Na maapolisi. Ipo siku hingu haitutavuta sisi wote na maapolisi. Yo bro, ni Ekas Music hapa, unasema aje bano? Ae, nilikuwa... <laughs> Ah, nilikuwa nauliza mambo ya mafuta, tunawana mafuta imepanda, ome kopaje na yo story. Eh hey, mazi story ya mafuta, mazi imi affect maboyo wengi mtaani, kama mamore wangu unya kuna nduzi, unaget. Imu affect sana, kuzi pia mi nmsisinki, unaget. Uh, kama tuseme tumeitua interview ama meeting, ama plesi ya wate, plesi ya wak. Si imebidi, pesa nilikuwa nalipa, nalipa, so ime increase, unaget. So kama sahi plesi, nilikuwa naenda na 400, sahi mibi na lipa na punch, unaget. Eh, pia so unajua mafuta kipanda, pia unge na panda, vitu zina panda So hii meafekti pia wasingi mtani adi mamokoro eh. Na unezambia aze President William Ruto kwa sababu alitoa subsidy Na mafuta sasa inaenda ikipanda, ikipanda Na juzi 
tukasikia mosesukuria akisema mafuta bado ina itaendelea kupanda every month utasema nini kuhusu hizi story zote yeah so hiyo story ya mafuta kupanda na okay kama president William Ruto una get yani president wetu na tunampenda una get so kitu ya kwanza inafaa pia angalie mavijana mavijana cuz mavijana si ndo tumeshikilia society sana una get mavijana unaweza compare mavijana wanaishi na wazai wazai walisha invest na mavijana sasa hivi Sendo ime tupata unacheki. So pia kuna wenye na to affect so William Ruto naweza 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 sema tu angalie tu side of mabijana cause si tunangangana kujijenga una get. So ile design mafuta kipanda vitu zina increase. Na sasa una get kama kijana kama mimi mwenye na try kujibuild. So ina ni affect. So William Ruto mazesa angalie bana. <laughs> As a CS to understand sisi kama mwananchi atuelewi kwa nini utuambie Roiro mafuta inatoka bei rahisi na Roiro iko within country Kenya. So tungependa sasa tujue why hii product iko within the iko Kenya na inauzwa within uh, uh, some places iko nchini Kenya. Why kuwe bei rahisi na huko kwingine bado ipande. Na maybe hii mambo ya tuseme kusuambia mafuta itaendelea kupanda tungeonelea sisi atu understand ni nini anasema hapo juu anafaa tupatie maybe hopes za as a yule mtu umepatia hiyo nini hiyo uh, <coughs> nini a uh, nini uh, ministry yake asimamie kwa mwananchi hiyo tungependa labda awe mtu ambaye anaelewa mambo kabla ya ku, kuongea kwa mwananchi uh. sawa sawa sana inafanya mishiko ngumu sana personally mko nalipa fare 50 bob so inalipa 80 bob ndio hiyo rent ndio hiyo shopping na hata vitu tu zinapanda tu day by day mi personally na ni affect. Hivi kuna any way tu zinaweza tushuka chini tafadhali serikali rudisha ni chini. Na utaambia nini president kwa sababu alikuwa amesema time yake ya ku campaign vitu zitashuka lakini bado vitu zinaenda zikin increase. Utaambia nini prezo? Kina turamba. <laughs> Ole si fiti. Jo ni kama ni promises tu za uongo tu ndo inge tu kwa seat uh, mi personally hakuna kitu ni monaki change like hata life inakuwa tu harder day by day kwenye tu alisema tu tafadhali tu arekebishe jo tunaumia kama sisi kwanza sio watu wadogo tunajitegemea tunaumia okay, tunaumia sana 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 thank you for watching our videos on Haman Manyara YouTube channel that was opinion scope with me mundia gitao always remember to like subscribe and share and also remember to comment down below about how the increase of fuel is affecting you personally also remember to follow us on our socials at Nairobi Review Haman Manyora and at Mundia Gitao till next time it's goodbye